Oh hey there, welcome back to my channel. This channel is all about becoming a better engineer. So if you want to become a better engineer, you're in the right place. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to install Pro Tools in just four steps. Well, five steps. The fifth step is going to be a bonus step. So do look out for that one. Let's get it. All right, once we're logged into our computers, we're going to go head over to Avid's website. Let's go ahead and do that. As soon as you press avid.com, this will be the main page that you will be greeted with. This is your home screen. Up here, we can just go ahead and click sign in. I already have my username and password already signed in. If you've never been to Avid's website, if you bought Pro Tools straight from Avid, you already have an account. But if you bought Pro Tools from a third party vendor, such as Sweetwater, you will have to make an account. Just go ahead and create your account. As soon as you do that, you will get an email confirmation. Once that's complete, just come back and just sign in. For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and click sign in. Once you're on this page, step two is going to be to install Pro Tools. We're gonna to go here where it says view my products. You will be greeted with your products information right here. This is all your Avid Link, Pro Tools, all the free plugins that you get with Pro Tools, you can download here. So for us, we're just gonna go ahead and click Pro Tools. Don't worry about this. This is just telling you your subscription, that it's still active and when it's gonna be expiring. So that's always good to know. So for us, we're gonna go ahead and click here where it says view software download links. So if you have a Mac, it will automatically recognize that you have a Mac. But if you are on a Windows computer, you can easily just click Windows. It's going to be the same steps down here where it says Pro Tools. Make sure you are downloading the latest version. Currently, we are running Pro Tools 2021.7. We can just go ahead and click Install. This would do its little thing, let it install. To install Pro Tools, go ahead and locate where you downloaded the file. Once you open up the file, this is what it will look like. Go ahead and click Install Pro Tools. Here, we can just go ahead and follow these steps. Continue, continue, I agree. I'm not gonna be installing this since I already have Pro Tools, but if you just go ahead and click install, you will be good to go. So once we have that installed, next step is going to be to activate your Pro Tools. To do this, you're gonna need an iLock. So once we're on iLock's website, either we need to sign in or create a free account. We do need is to download iLock License Manager. For To do that, we need to sign in. Let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so this is what it looks like. Just go ahead and download. If you have a Windows, go ahead and click Windows. If you have a Mac, just click Mac. And once this is downloaded, let's go ahead and open it. Once you're here, we can just go ahead and click sign in. Now we're all signed in. You can see these are all my subscriptions that I have. So if you don't know what an iLock is, it's just a USB. This is what it looks like. And if you want to get an iLock and if you don't know where to get one, I'll put some links where you can easily go ahead and buy some iLocks. My favorite place I've seen iLocks, which I was kind of surprised, Guitar Center. Guitar Center does have iLocks, but make sure you do check out your nearest Guitar Center. They might have it. You do not need an iLock to activate your Pro Tools. It is a good tool to have, but you do not need it. I like to have it personally, since when I travel, when I do gigs outside, I can just take my iLock with me and plug it in. I know everything's gonna be working, but you do not need an iLock to have Pro Tools working. Let's just get that out there. So these are all of our licenses. So Pro Tools has a license of its own. Once you first subscribe to your Pro Tools, you should have gotten a license key. To put that, we can just go up here, redeem activation code. So this is the activation code that you should have gotten in your email. You can just go ahead and copy and paste here, press next. It will automatically be updated and added to your licenses. So if you see if it's green, that means it's active, grayed out, it's expired. Anything that's green, it's currently working. All right, so once you've activated your license, it will show up up here in green. So if you wanted to move your license, let's say to your iLock or to your cloud, you can just hold on to the license and drag and just drop wherever you want to. Easy as that. So once you've dragged it to your iLock or your cloud, it will take a little bit, but after a while, it will tell you that's already been activated and you're all good to go. And that's it. Your Pro Tools already activated. And step four is to well, launch Pro Tools. So as soon as you open up your Pro Tools, this is going to be the first window that you will be greeted with. This is your dashboard. This is where you can go ahead and save your files. So for this video, I'm just gonna name it whatever. So after you have named your file, down here, we have templates. You don't really have to worry about templates just quite yet. I will be making a detailed video about templates. What are templates, how to make your own templates and why templates are useful. Down here, we have our file types, BWF, which is the standard WAV file. We have our sample rates, bit depth and IO settings. Click create. So you've got your Pro Tools installed and opened and this is what you see. You might be wondering, how do I change my interface? How do I have my ins and outs? Well, for that, we're gonna go up here, click setup playback engine. Down here, you can already see I have my 2i2 connected. If I had a different interface or if I wanted to change an interface, I can just click here and select anything that's available for me. Click OK. You will be good to go. 
Okay, for step five, step five is a bonus one. I just wanted to do this for you guys since this is the first time you are downloading Pro Tools and you might not have any of the Avid plugins. And let's be honest, Avid plugins are pretty good, especially the new ones that they have. So for that, we're just gonna go down and find where it says Avid Complete Plugin Bundle. It should look like this. We can just go ahead and click install. Once you download it and install it, if you still have Pro Tools running in the background, it will ask you to close Pro Tools since Pro Tools does need to rescan all your plugins. If you enjoyed watching this video and if you thought it was helpful, please do me a favor, comment, like, and subscribe because I will be posting more videos just like this one. And if you had a hard time installing Pro Tools, if it did not work for you, or even if the plugins did not work for you, just go ahead and comment down below. I will definitely help you guys out. Till then, I want you guys to go enjoy Pro Tools, have fun. If you have any questions about Pro Tools or if something is not working, go ahead and comment down below. I will definitely help you guys out. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Till then, stay safe and look out for my next videos.